Uh, so Charlie Morton has officially been named the starter for the Braves tonight. I'm, uh, this afternoon, I'm actually a little bit surprised. I thought they were going to go with Enoa, but they're going to go with Morton tonight. Try to close this game out. I mean, look, the Brewers have scored a total of two runs in this entire series. This is not game one. This isn't game two. They've gone through three games now where they've scored a total of two runs. This offense has cooled off at the wrong time. They're doing the, uh, you know, the wrong impression of the Cardinals where they absolutely are doing nothing offensively. How can you not want to take one of the best pitchers on the Braves staff? He was averaging over a strikeout per inning. This team is going to strike out as well, and Morton goes deep into games. This should be a perfect spot for that captain spot. It's going to be pricey, but truly the, Bra the Brewers offense is something I want to target against this afternoon. All right, Gary Bear, you're up. Yeah, at this point with the Charlie Morton news, Morton is probably your your easiest pick for captain. I mean, this Brewers offense has been shut out in back-to-back -back games, and it's not like this is some sort of aberration either. If you look at their numbers in the regular season in September and October, they had the fourth lowest WRC plus in baseball at just 85 across that span of time. So now that Morton is the guy, I think he has to be a captain because if it was Yanoa, the leash on him would have been a lot shorter than it is on Morton. I don't think Charlie Morton's getting pulled in the fourth inning the first time he runs into trouble. That might have been the case for Yanoa. So I think Morton's a great play. Another guy, if you just want to stay away from Morton, who might be the chalk, uh, I think Ozzie Albies is in a really nice spot here. We don't know if Eric Lauer is starting this game, but I'm he pretty is. sure Eric Lauer is going to pitch at some point in this game. And Ozzy Albies crushes left-handed pitching. He's got a 144 WRC+, plus, a 323 average against Southpaws so far this season. And although there are some, like, groundswell movements to get this guy to stop switch hitting, he is still technically a switch hitter. So, you know, this is one of those games where he might see a different pitcher every time he comes to the plate. The ability to switch hit certainly helps him in that scenario. So he'll always have the platoon advantage. I think Albies is a pretty good, pretty solid, and pretty safe captain's pick in this spot.